Nice job. Go, go, go. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Fine, that was a good fun. <laughs> this is adrenaline rush. That's awesome. Yeah. This is why we do it. Yeah. This is me and today's video is me trying barrel racing for the very first time. So if you would have seen my previous video, you would have known that I've been in the US and I actually tried Western riding for the first time. I had so much fun and I know a lot of you guys are from the US and do Western riding, which is something like it's so new to me and so different. And you guys have been asking me to try barrel racing for so long. And as I was in Texas, there was only really one person I could go and see the 2014 barrel racing world champion Fallon Taylor. Hello. Hi! Hello, welcome to the ranch. Welcome Hi, to Texas. Nice to meet you. So nice to see you. Can I show you around a little yeah, bit? Yeah, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Everything? Yeah. Are you ready to be a barrel racer today? Yes, I am. I'm so excited. Awesome. So we are going to be riding this powerhouse of a mare, but I promise you that she's going to go kind of slow. Nice. Um, so that you can learn. And yes. of course, I'll show you the ropes and hopefully you'll have a really fun time because it's a super fun game yes <laughs> so this is oakley oh she's about she's gorgeous thank you so in relation to your horse's size so is mickey or casper what sh what size are they uh casper's about 15 pounds do so you she think should... he's bigger or smaller than uh that? probably a little bit smaller yeah. but yeah so she's probably I don't know, 15 one. Yeah. She's our curviest lady. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else we have is really, really tiny. Yeah. Um, compared to like, in the Western industry, we definitely ride the smallest. Yes. Horses. So we will uh, show you around, show you nice, some horses yeah. so you can kind of compare. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, hello. She's like, can I have treats? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, sorry, I don't have anything ready. <laughs> Come on this way. We'll work our way from the back to the okay. front. Um, so as we're coming down the barn, this is my jumping mare, which I do a lot of jumping on, but she's giant. So she's, yeah, she's big. She's a big girl. This is Sunday brunch. Hello. She's a Dutch warm blood. And um, oh, you're beautiful. Just a really cool mare for me because she's <laughs> beginner friendly. Because yeah. I've done a lot of stuff in barrel racing, but in jumping, I'm level one beginner oh. for sure. I've hit the ground a lot, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's the thing between English and Western that I think is really different. In Western riding, you know, if you hit the ground, it's almost like a demerit on your resume. But oh. in English, it's part of the journey. Yes. Yeah, so, I've hit the ground you, many times. Yeah, do you yeah. find that a yeah. lot? Yeah. Um, not for a while, but um, definitely when I was learning, yeah. I've lost count of how many times I've fallen off, to I've be honest. I never fell off at a show. So. It was not fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, That's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> fell off at a show, and it shouldn't have happened. Yeah. But um, I just try to be, play it a little bit a little bit safer. Um, a lot of... Hey, girlie. Hello. <laughs> a lot of what we're trying to do, too, is I'm trying to kind of revolutionize people wearing helmets yes. in the Western industry since I broke my neck in 2009. And so we'll get you all geared up. Yes. Before you go, make sure we're safe. Brilliant. <laughs> oh. So this is Mojo. He's very famous on my channel. Oh, um, he's so sweet. Because he is a tiny little guy and um, he wins a lot. Oh, is he a small little pocket rocket? <laughs> he is. He's really, really cool. Yeah. Um, but he's so fast, you definitely don't want to go this way. Yeah. <laughs> Start slow and steady because, yeah. He has like a first gear. He only uh, has. Yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But he's a sweet boy. Oh. We'll go visit some other ones too. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you so much for inviting okay. me. I've always wanted to try barrel racing because it's so different to anything I've ever done. Right. So, oh, it's yeah. completely different. Yes. <laughs> some of the things that you're gonna feel like, oh, I'm having to let go of so much control. Yeah. But we like to do things here with a lot of horsemanship in mind. Yeah. And I think it's not the first thing that people think of when they think barrel racing, they think it's just about going fast. Yeah. But in order to be at a high level or be a world champion, it's just as precise as what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, it looks really technical. It's really very technical. And I think you'll I think you'll really enjoy it. Hello. So she is a briar horse, um, a briar collectible doll <laughs> now, which is very cool. Um, when they really gave her that cool. honor about three years ago. Oh, wow. Um, so that was very cool for us. And then um, this year she passes the, the million dollar mark of earnings. So oh, wow. We are, um, we are so indebted to her yeah. and how much she's been able to do and, and perform. So um, I run her a little bit, but not a ton. Yeah. Um, just because I feel like she's 
done so much for me. Yeah. So try to give her as many breaks as I can. But the most important part of Baby Flo is her goat. <gasps> of course. So, this is her goat, Itsy Bitsy. Some oh. days the goat is friendly. <laughs> yep. And some days she's not. Yep. <laughs> but Baby Flo had a lot of anxiety when she was younger. Oh. And this became her friend, and I just tried it as an experiment. Yeah. Um, because a lot of the racehorse industry has um, goats with their horses, and so we let them stay together, and they do everything together. Oh, including, that's so cute. Sorry. <laughs> including <laughs> exercise, lunging. Um, the goat oh. is there for that, so yeah. Best friends. Yeah. <laughs> do any of your horses, oh. or are they just super best friends with each other? Oh uh, yeah, Mickey and Casper. I say they have sort of like a brother relationship, so they love each other. Like when I'm not there and I'm looking out the window, they'll be like grooming each other. But then when I'm there and there's like competition over food, yes. they have a bit of like a rough play, a bit of a brother relationship. Yeah. But no, they're like the best of friends. It's really cute when I take Mickey away and Casper's left in the field on his own with just the donkeys, he starts crying. <laughs> he like makes these pathetic noises. He's like, don't leave me. <laughs> so yeah. So they call for each other too. Aww. Baby Flo will nicker for her goat, and her goat will make all sorts of noises to come back. Aww. So I think she thinks the goat is her baby. Oh, that's so, so cute. They sleep together, and we have a camera in the stall so I can watch them from home. Yeah. And they curl up and sleep every night together. It's Aww. very cute. Very, very cute. Aww. And you definitely don't want to go this fast either. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll go ahead and get you. Do you have a favorite color? Um. I don't mind, I'm, I'm easy. Matchy. Yeah, I'm matchy, matchy. matchy. If you have it. anything matchy, then okay, yeah, go for it. What's your favorite color? Um, well, I've got red on at the moment. You have red oh. on. Boom. B blue well goes pretty well with the red as well. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> go go matchy, full. matchy. <laughs> full matchy. Full matchy for you, sorry. So you just said, I'm going to get a saddle that fits you. Is that like a thing you fit the saddle to the human, not the horse? So Is that like we, a Western thing? All of our saddles are going to have similar trees, we ride all Brazilian saddles. Okay. And so we want the the horse's comfort is first. Yes. Um, but we have very similar trees. We found that this Brazilian tree fits almost every horse in our barn. Oh, wow. And it fits them really well. So we've been very lucky. We also use exceptionally light equipment. So typically a Western saddle is very heavy. Yes. Um, but our equipment is under 14 pounds. We just oh, want to wow. make the most yeah. comfortable experience for the horse. Um, because we just appreciate them so much for the job that they do for us. Yeah. Um, so we just want to make sure that we're not adding to the soreness because yeah. these are extreme athletes going yes. 35 miles an hour. <laughs> so we want to make sure we make it as good as we yeah. can for them. But you know, the thing that's, I don't know, kind of similar with the Western saddles that I find is with English saddles or with my jumping saddle, you kind of have like a knee roll that you can put your knee sure. in, so you kind of feel more secure that way. Sure. When I find the Western saddles are more similar to a dressage saddle, because okay. your leg's more sort of straight down sure. rather than bent. Sure. Because we, well, apparently we ride in quite short stirrups I do for English. So okay. I ride in the same length of stirrups when I jump as I do when I run barrels. Oh, really? Which is also very different yeah. from... Um, a lot of people in the industry, a lot of people prefer a longer stirrup. I prefer a much shorter stirrup. Ah. So I just feel like if we have that same kind of stance, yep. that we can do a lot more with our upper body and stay a lot more quiet ah, instead nice. of kind of being yeah. jerked around a lot. So let me get your breast cock. The thing I love about the Western tack is like how fancy it is. Like everything is, <laughs> is also, all the little details. Like on the metal, you have like little patterns and I things. Have to show you so my pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I did not let that go. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, our tack, our tack seems so boring compared to. way. Let okay. me show you some non boring tack. <laughs> so, let's see where our breast plate is. Well, this is just my brow band. Oh, but there's wow. There's that. That's so cool. And then my breastplate is a little crazy. Oh, it's all matchy as well. <laughs> and then I, I love matchy. Yes. And then I have more leg on my wither strap so it's facing nice. me. So yep. I don't forget more leg. That's what I learned about English. Yeah, every instructor, more, more leg. leg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I'm thirsty, more leg. Yeah. I need to get up, more leg. Yep. Okay, I get it, more leg. Okay. Open her up. Nice. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. That should work. And nicely. it'll be matchy. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, do you always use splint boots on your 
horses? Um, well, I don't think we call them splint boots in England. Brush or boots brush, or yeah, brushing boots or I usually use tendon boots for oh. jumping and then brushing boots for like dressage or flat work or if okay. I'm going on like a trail ride. Okay. So. And then you have special boots for like cross country as well because they're designed so when you go through the water, the water sort of drains out so they don't get really heavy. Nice. So I need those. Yeah, they're good for trail rides. Text me a link to those yes. for when I run in the mud. Yeah, they're really you good. Don't have any such thing. I use them all the time when I go to the beach as well because nice. I guess you don't really have beaches. Kind of. Not close. No, not close. Not close. <laughs> I'll but, do polo wraps nice. in red so that we can really drive this thing <laughs> home. Yeah, especially this time of year in England as well. It's so muddy and so rainy. Usually when I get is the horses it? in from the field, like their legs are just covered and in mud like, okay, and it's I'm like, done. yeah. <laughs> yes. I'll go ahead and lunch her out here in the middle and go then um, we'll get her ready and I'll show you some things. Nice. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through this, if that's okay. Yep, go for it. When we take off, we line up with the third barrel, mm -hmm. just so that we have a really nice angle yep. into the first. And your right hand is what's gonna turn you. So sliding that hand down just a little bit and keeping about, I don't know, four feet distance here um, before you turn is really ideal. And then your eyes, just like going to the next jump, they need to be up so yep. that you can really see where you're going. Um, but again, about four feet distance here. And then I have written on the top of the barrels, keep your eyes here. And okay. it's just for you to remember to look so you don't hit anything. Okay, I've got to try and remember this pattern. And then I'm going to go her <laughs> up really quick around so we just have no yep. craziness. There. Make sure your okay. stirrups feel okay. Yep. Oh my gosh, it's high. The big Ooh. girl. Yeah, long way up. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Don't be afraid if you want to collect her yep. up and she's going too fast. Okay. Feel free to yep. do that. So, yeah. I need like all the basics. <laughs> yes. I am very like, what am I doing? <laughs> so this right is there, so new. Grab your saddle horn. Yep. The left like that. There you go. Good. And then go around. Good. And then you'll just kind of push forward to the next barrel as okay. you slide your left hand down the opposite rein. Okay. Even more down. Now grab your saddle horn with your right hand. Yep. Look at that barrel. And you want to let the rein go that's in your saddle hand horn. Okay. Saddle horn. Like that. Good. And come back even closer. Do it again. Okay. Good. Keep looking at it and turn that close. There you go. There, there you go. <laughs> Beautiful job. Got it. Nobody was perfect the first time doing yeah. anything in their life. So you want to come in a little closer to this barrel. Okay. See how you're way out there? Yeah, there you go. And just look at the tracks on the ground and follow those. Okay. Really nice. <laughs> really good. So when you grab your saddle horn, just make sure to yep. throw that rain away. Okay. Go yeah. like that. Let's go okay. through again, just like that. Yep. Really good, and just make sure to close your fingers around the reins. Yep. When they push, they they have the potential to pull them out. Yep. And then other hand. Oh. Good. Yeah, good. There we go. Really nice job. Now go straight toward that oh, yep, barrel. That one. Really good job. Good saddle horn. Good. Really good. Tight, tight, tight. Yes. That Got was it. So good. Back to two hands. Really good. Good job. That's perfect. So every time they turn yep. third, they're going to want to hurry. So you'll just have to slow her down. Really nice job. Let's go through and keep kind of a, a bigger trot, an extended yep. trot through the pattern. Got it. I feel like I'm starting to get like where I'm going now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Get ready for your saddle horn. Good. Really nice. Really Easy. nice job. Really good. That's perfect. Beautiful job, Esme. Good. Woo! Up a little. Easy. Nice work. Good. Get ready for your saddle horn. 
Good job. Really good. Oh. It's okay. It's Easy. Okay. Get your saddle on. Really good job. Really nice. That way. <laughs> nice job. Nice. Really oh, yeah. Nice. The saddle hold is good. Great job. Easy. Yes. Oh, sorry. So, you made a full out run. Yep. <laughs> I think you were going so much faster than you expected. Yeah, though. yeah. Are you? Yeah, no, that's fine. That was good fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is adrenaline rush. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. This is why we do it. Yeah. Okay, guys, that was so much fun. It was also so nice because you could really tell that Oakley was just loving it. She was like taking me to all the barrels. She knew where she was going and she just wanted to go. It was like such an adrenaline rush, but also it goes so quickly. It's like a blink of an eye and then you're done. Like, I think the thing that I struggled most with was going to the barrels and like, I kept forgetting which hand I had to put on the horn and which one I had to sort of like use to steer around because usually, I don't know, it just felt really different to anything I've ever done. I'd say the most similar thing is mounted games, but then like, I don't know, it's just so different and it's so much fun. Like you go so fast and they really have to go pretty tight around these barrels and she was just loving it. So yeah, very different, but would recommend a lot of fun. <laughs> Good girl. Turn and go. Good job. Good job. Squeeze your lower leg. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah! Go, go, go. Hurry. Nice job. Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Really nice. Really nice job. Good job. Really, really nice. So I've just had a little go myself, and oh my goodness, that was so much fun. This girl can really go, and she knows where she's going as well. It's like she was taking me around those barrels. So thank you so much, Oakley. And then um, Fallon is going to get on now and sort of show me how it's done, because obviously this is my first time ever doing barrel racing or like doing anything like this before. So uh, we're going to let the master <laughs> show us how it's done, really. So thank you very much, and let's see the pro action. Oh yeah, it was so much fun. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad that even though she looked ferocious, it turned <laughs> yeah. out really well. Yeah, no, it's Were fine. Were you scared just for a second? Um, no, not really, no. <laughs> you know, I've sat on everything under the sun, yes. so it's just horses being horses. Thank you very much. Yeah. She's like, oh, I like those. Yeah. Good girl. Do you want another one? Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And then the horses get a lot of turnout. So yes. we believe a lot in sunshine. Yes. <laughs> and just getting them out to be horses and to be animals because yep. we appreciate how much effort that they put. This is an yeah. extreme sport. It's yes. really hard for them. So they get a lot of time outside. Now, right now, a tornado just hit Dallas, which oh, devastated wow. most of Dallas a week yeah. ago. So we have mud and, and rain and trees down everywhere. Sounds like England, the mud and the rain. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So the performance horses, we wait until the ground is a little bit safer yeah. to get turnout. So we're probably two more days away before they're back to their regular routine. Nice. Um, but every horse gets out for several hours a day, um, just so we can make sure the barn is super clean yeah. for them and feels really good. Um, but we have a lot of rescues. Um, oh. Oh, so, so I don't think we talked about that, but yeah. we take in one to two horses a year and we rescue them. Aww. This is one of our rescues. We've had her for 12 years. Oh, wow. um, she has been, she's the mom of several horses um, that we've had and she's just a really cool mare. So when Hurricane Katrina hit Louisiana a yeah. long time ago, um, she was actually a horse that was in the wreckage and oh, so wow. I drove down to that area and pulled her out of there. And so we have a lot of rescues. That's one thing Aww, that we do with this, so lovely. this part right here. Yeah. But in here is our little mini farm. Oh. 
You're like a little willow. <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. Junus actually was at a stable that I pulled over um, to rest my horses at while I was on the rodeo road. Aww. And she was just a few days old and <laughs> I wrote them a check right there for her Aww. and waited until she was weaned off her mom Aww. and then brought her to Texas. So, oh, you're so lovely. Yeah. She'll crawl in Aww. your lap. <laughs> you like cuddles? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to have so much space as well. We it can just is run around. Really, very and, fortunate. Yeah. Very fortunate. So we love it. We love it out here. I wasn't too sure what to expect when meeting Fallon. It's safe to say that she's a larger than life character. I found her to be a really lovely lady with a huge heart. She's passionate about her sport, but she puts the love and care that she gives their horses above everything. Okay, so Fallon, thank you so much for having me over. I've had You're so, so much fun. Also, like this is something I've never really done before, so I had a lot of fun as well. And hopefully, my riding wasn't too rusty. Let me just for, tell you, like <laughs> this chick was amazing. Oh, this was, thank it you. It was absolutely amazing. Oh, thanks. You inspired me. I mean, you made a beautiful run, and oh, you thanks. just looked really comfortable. And you can tell that you've dedicated a lot of time to this. Oh you know? yeah, so was, your riding yeah. is beautiful. It's my and third time riding Western as well. It, it was, was yeah, it wasn't amazing. too bad. <laughs> I had you. the time of my life. I, I oh. it looked like you did so I'm pumped. Oh thanks. So Fallon and I are also doing a giveaway over on Instagram so one of her helmets, my book and also some merch as well so be sure to go check that out as well. It'll be on your Instagram as well Fallon Taylor too and also be sure to check out her YouTube channel because she's making a vlog as well with me so be sure to check that out. Leave some links in the description below and all that jazz. So uh, yeah thank you so much guys for watching today's video. I've had so much fun. If you're new or haven't done so already please subscribe and like today's videos. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>